Howard. What? Uh, our guest is here, Lou Diamond Phillips. Oh. Hey, can I see that picture for a second? Yeah. Hold on one second. That's the picture of Lou's wife? She's here. Oh, oh is she? Oh. I'm pretty sure, yeah. 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 Lou brought proof. <laughs> Lou brought proof. <laughs> we got to get him in because Lou's got to be somewhere else at 8.15. No kidding. Wait, let me get switch my glasses. Keep it, <laughs> keeping the interview short in advance, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. In case things don't That's go well, he, Lou can book out of here. Sure. Lou's smart. You don't have him for long. Lou Diamond Phillips, uh, act, fine actor that you saw in... Uh, La Bamba. La Bamba. He played uh, Richie Havens. Valentine. <laughs> <Ballon. laughs> that wouldn't be a stretch. Richie Havens would be a terrible stretch for Lou. Whatever. He was good. He's good, but he ain't that good. And you know what other movie he was in that you love? He played a man. What is Lou? Is he a, a, an Indian? He's he either Mexican. He's Filipino? He's got a little Filipino in him. Does he? He's a melting pot. Yes. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I thought he was an Indian. You know what movie? I thought he was a Blackfoot. <laughs> yeah. You know a movie he did that you liked a lot? The one where the, um, he has sex with the uh, radio psychologist and he ties her up and stuff? Yeah, the what was that? HBO. I don't know, but she's naked through the... Him and her are naked through the entire movie. I, I never yeah. saw that one. He's got a nice body. <laughs> He's got a cute ass. He has a cute ass. Well, let's get him in here. Let's get Lou in here. Because Lou's got a great story for us. <laughs> this doesn't often happen to someone famous. Lou Diamond Phillips' new movie is uh, Sioux City. Sioux City? Sioux City. It's uh, opening around the country. It's, uh, What's that all about? Is he playing an Indian now? Yeah, I think he plays a, a Blackfoot Indian. <laughs> I, yeah. That would probably be a Sioux Indian since it's Sioux City. I think... Hey, you got a nice ass. Hey, there's Lou. Hey, Lou. The long-haired Lou was with us today. Good to see you. Okay, sit down, Lou. <laughs> hey, Lou, you let your hair grow out, huh, man? You do look like an Indian. I'm, I'm looking more and more like you is with the problem. I know. Do you, are you an Indian? Yeah, part Cherokee on my, on my father's side, but I'm also Scotch-Irish, so who the heck would, you know, know that? And, and Filipino? Filipino, Hawaiian, Spanish, Chinese on my mother's side. Really? Well, How do you get that? Indian? He had a mother and a United father. Nations. Yeah. And who was the Indian? Yeah, who was the Indian? My father. My, my, my father's great-grandmother. Oh, was I Cherokee, see. Full-blooded. Out of Why Georgia. You? Why did they have you in a box? Because I'm dangerous. <laughs> that I believe. <laughs> what was you? Was your grandmother at an orgy? And then, like, I mean, in order to get everybody that... Everybody had you're her. You're saying your great-grandmother... She was like a Cherokee princess or something, but I mean, everybody has that story. Or yeah. That's what my grandmother uh, told. Jackie tells me every day his grandmother was a Cherokee princess. Sure. So, Lou... There's a lot more people in here than I expected. Yeah, I know. It's a little crowded. I thought it would be here. like Gary, you know. <laughs> I haven't seen you in eight years. I know. It's been a long time. I saw you when you were first doing promotion around... Right. La Bamba. Yeah. La Bamba. Eight years ago at the Hollywood Roosevelt. That's right. And your career took off after you met me, so... Uh, well, that's you, true. Yeah, you did very well. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, Howard. That's and, right. And I'm sure you do. Yes, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Lou Diamond, of course, uh, been in a lot of movies since La Bamba. Mm -hmm. What's that one on HBO where you're naked? Dangerous Touch. And yeah, that's a good one. that one, too. You directed that? Yeah, I directed oh. Sioux City, and, and I, the first uh, feature-length film that I directed was Dangerous Touch. Yeah, that's a good... So who's a, who's the girl in that? that Kate you... Vernon. Yeah. Her father is... Did you uh, cast her? The, yeah, I did cast her, actually. Yeah. She was she, wonderful. Wonder, she'd actually read for a film uh, called Extreme Justice. That's one of those scripts where a guy goes, hey, you know what? If I'm going to do a movie, I'm going to get laid. Might as well get a good uh, yeah. babe in it. Yeah, might as well get a good babe in it. Because... <laughs> you know, uh, someone blonde is sort of contrast, you know, the, the long... Sure. Actually, my hair was short in that. Is that that was good. That's where you... Do, wasn't that one where you played like a con man or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm a, a slimy, uh, sociopathic con man. Yeah, I dig that. And then he's like naked every minute getting on with the girl. I'm not naked every minute. I show, my, I show my butt once. Yeah, but she's naked constantly. No, not constantly. Yeah, I, it's, believe me, it's nice good. Now and uh, she does get naked, but not you know constantly. I mean, it's not, it's not flesh or rama. You didn't direct it that way anyway. So Lou, we didn't <laughs> think, not to. we didn't think you were coming in here once we started talking about what happened with your first wife and everything. Oh, yeah, we yeah, thought yeah. you backed out yeah. of it. Oh, that's yeah. a cool story. Oh, yeah. Because that first wife was with him the first time we met him. Right. Is that right? And we Roosevelt. had no clue. She you was had no clue. Robin, you she was, had no clue. Robin, she was looking at you like she was like licking her chops. I'm telling you, I was suspicious from day one. You know, maybe that's why she wouldn't come very close. I'm telling you, there was something going on just that day. <laughs> I, I, I saw it, it in the my, air. I had my eyes on Joe Walsh and Bobcat. I, I must have missed that entire exchange. <laughs> you know what? It's funny, you know, your wife went lesbian, but most of uh, Robin's ex-boyfriends are now homos, <laughs> believe it or not. They are actually with... That's true. So you, uh, you have something in common we, with Robin. We, we can start a support group that's now. Right. That's right. <laughs> So, Lou, when your wife first went lesbian, were you saying, oh, man, I must have been bad in bed or something? Or were you How taking it personal? How did she break the news 
Because your wife says in interviews that, that you took it real hard. <laughs> Did she say that? Yeah. I haven't read a lot of these interviews. you got to read the one on The Advocate. It's good. Oh, God. Did you smell it on her breath? Did you know, like, right away? Oh, we was wow. it, is that a... 7.30 in the morning. Come on, Lou. Tell me everything. I'm only on my second cup of coffee. We'll talk about oh. Sioux City. Don't worry. The new movie that's coming out. But, uh, Sioux look, City is right. Sioux City. Mr. Right, right. So wait a second. Let me get this straight. <laughs> no, you're not going to get it straight. All right, let me get. Th all right, let me let me just get whatever I can out of you. <laughs> Here you are, good-looking Hollywood guy, no question about it. You got married young. I mean, did you get married after La Bamba? No, uh, before it came before. out. This is before La Bamba. Yeah, before it came out. Uh, in between the time I filmed it and the time it came out. So you're a good-looking guy. You had no problem getting a nice piece of ass because your wife was a piece of ass. Even the first wife was a piece. of ass. Although the one you got now is 50 times better. She's I unbelievable, isn't she? Yeah. She's oh beautiful. man. Beautiful. Uh, she's here with you. Yeah. Oh, we got to bring her in in a minute. I knew you were oh, going to say that. Oh, you are all right. <laughs> she had to bring proof. Do you think this is compensation? He could only go after an incredibly beautiful woman. Yeah. Don't let your first wife meet her. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Keep her apart. So what do you say, Lou? So, like, obviously you were no stranger to getting good-looking checks because your first wife was... I was a... actually, I was actually very, um, uh, inactive, you know? I'm, I was, I was a really, my, my dad worried about me in college, actually. Because I gay. didn't date. Right. You know, I, I, I just didn't date. Because you couldn't get girls. I didn't go after them. You know why? Because you've got that... focused on my career for a long, long time. Because you have the kind of skin color that girls are oh, nervous about. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. That's what I'm college. You color. know what I'm saying? It is. No, because Lou could, you know, like, like he could look like an Indian, he could look Filipino, girls he could look... In college, and they don't really know how to... Girls in college parents? don't love that. Oh, I, They're you afraid of that. You've never been a girl. You're, you're, Robbie, you don't know. You're a black woman. I'm telling you. White I girls... They go after everything. He's color. dangerous, right? He looks like a criminal. Exactly. <laughs> you look dangerous. And how do you bring me home to mom and dad? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Well, they don't exactly. think about bringing you home necessarily. They well, think about taking you to bed. You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> all right. Mike's they want to see if the skin tone is even all the way right. down. Yeah. Uh, I'm with you now. Hey, you didn't leave your wife alone in our jock lounge with a female publicist, did you? <laughs> Are you afraid to leave your present wife alone with women? No, it's right. not contagious. It can't happen again. I know. Well, you think it's I mean, lighting, it's like it's like riding in an airplane. You know, everybody says I did. You know, the Richie Valens story. Valens, by the way. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they they ask me if I'm nervous to fly in airplanes. No, that couldn't happen twice. So exactly. I really have no fear of this. Yeah, because it would be too point. weird having you die in a plane crash. Yes, but yes. do you? Is it worse to have your wife leave you for a woman than for yes. a man? Yes, of course it is. Is it, I don't I know. I think it's it's probably a bit more confusing. It is. Yeah. Because you're like, hey, wait a second. What did I is do? Is it because of me? Sure. Is it be, you, you always Were question you, yourself. Like gun shy after that? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait, Lou, let's get certainly this. something clever coming out of my mouth, but it didn't quite make it all the but way. But Lou, let's back up. Yeah. Come on, this is a good story. This is a really killer. This story. In it's fact, not, you should make actually, a movie out of this. It's old. No, no, but it's but old to you, old. not to us. Yeah, I just learned it about it. I'm it. putting it in my will that that a TV movie is never going to be made about. That's all I need is Scott Bio. <laughs> Playing the reaction. <laughs> yeah, of all right. Me, you know, Scott and Heather Locklear. Yeah. Now wait a second. Let me get this straight. So you know, you get you're at it. You you get uh, out of movie college. You get into La Bamba. <laughs> you married young, right? Yeah, but uh, well, not really. Twenty-five. Yeah, I was twenty-five. And your wife was a knockout. Where'd you meet her? The first Texas. one. Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yeah. She was just like another. But she wasn't even in show business or anything. She was an actress. No, she, no, 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 no. She's uh, she was a technical person even then. Oh. Really? Yeah. She was a film grip at the time. So how come she says now that you were in one of her movies and? Uh... I, I did. I did her a favor at one point. She'd asked me like four years, you know, prior to doing this film last year. Right. You know, if I would do this, and I said yes, and, and if nothing else, I do stick to my word. All right. So wait. Let me get this. Straight. All right. All right. So this is good. And it might have been a clue to you that she had a male job. Like a grip is like a male yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay, all let's starting say, to come together now, and I'm yeah. starting yeah. to feel N so. You naive. should have seen the signs. Yeah. But his wife yeah. is really good looking. Okay, uh -huh. so he gets himself a really good. So this guy's. And knows, everything's cool. Yeah, everything's cool. You don't cool. have trouble, you know. Did you ever find, like, did you ever, like, it, uh, was it ever, like, like, she was kind of dry and stuff? Oh, 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 man. No, you know what I'm saying? You know oh. what I mean? You, you know what I mean? So, do you ever oh, feel like when you were in bed with her, it was like going up against a brick wall? <laughs> Nothing like no, that. No sign. No. See, a lot of guys want to know really. this. Really? Yeah. Really? No. No, it's pretty darn normal. <laughs> okay, wait a second. So let me get this straight. This is great. You're saying... The embellishments are amazing. <laughs> no, wait, no, Lou, I'm did, trying to... Did, did you do a all lot the of guys with Fort Man? A lot of... No, no, no. A lot of guys... A lot of guys want to know about this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's mainly him. Yeah, okay. Well, I, yeah. Okay, I do. There's one guy in the I'm room fascinated. right now. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. So you guys had a long marriage. Like, like what? Five, six years around? No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't that long. It was two years? Yes. Okay, two years. You know, you never know what you're going to marry. Every 
everything was fine. Everything was fine. Have a problem in your marriage. Sex was good. Vicky would have sex every night. No. Two up. Uh, not every night. Oh. And after it, only uh, two years. I've got Sherlock Stern over here. You know what? I'm trying to figure it out. He's like putting it, you know, he's putting the whole thing together <laughs> in retrospect. Right You're saying right like two or three uh, times a week you'd have sex with your wife. Well, I mean, you know, we were on the road a lot. So, I mean, it, right. was, it was, you know, it was uh, two normal. Or three. I would, let me put it this way. It was normal. And when you would have sex, would you ever have sex two times in the same day? Or would it only be <laughs> once a day? The, you know, I've See, my wife might be a lesbian. I'm well, telling you. Ah, that, that's it. You're starting to worry. Well, now. that's why I'm so curious about did this. Did she ever yeah. initiate, or did you have to always bring no, it, it up? Was, yeah. Did you always have to start no, rubbing her down? Did it take a long time nice. for foreplay? You know, it yeah. Was, it was. It was normal. And, yeah. You know. It, did it take a long time for foreplay, Lou? I, I really don't remember, Howard. Honestly, you know. I mean, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, keep what, track how of could this. you not remember? It's just, simple. Would it take like a half hour to get her hot, or like about five minutes? Five days. Yeah. Like everybody. days. I mean, seriously, did you have to, like, really work her a lot? Oh, you, no, man. What do you mean, oh, man? What do you mean, oh, man? What, this is this guy talk. No, I get it. Hey, what's your I, you story? Know, I man, I didn't kiss and tell in college. I'm really? Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Sure. I hear what you're saying. You're very, you're like, uh, you're like one of those actors. All right. No, I'm like one of those silly, nice guys. All right, all right you're you know, a nice guy. Problem, right. too, I guess. Okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll back off the actual sexual stuff. Now, just calm down, all right, man? No one's looking to, no one's looking to have, get into an argument. Boy, okay. you know, <laughs> flop sweat, man. No, 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 you don't have any flop sweat. I know. All right, listen to me. So what you're saying, Lou, is you're married two years. Mm. Everything's going along normal. Smoothly. One day she comes home. And she says, to, she drops a bomb on you. She says... And you didn't know it was coming. There was no warning sign. No. Wow. She says... It was a to, hard left. Sheesh. She says to you, oh, by left. the way, Lou, honey, I'm dating Melissa Etheridge, the singer, the folk singer. Right. Wow. Now, his wife claims she never had a lesbian thought. Well, now, no. when she said that, did you Until, think she just meant we like to go to the movies together? No, it was one of those moments of pure sort of uh, clarity, oh. where everything became extremely clear to me in in uh, Two like a lightning yeah. bolt strike. Because things were going along fine, right? Yes. I mean, it was a good marriage. Yes. But you would have stayed married. Yes. Even though you get that hot blonde out there, I mean, you, you, you a lot of girls come on to you, but no, you I mean, were totally satisfied. Fate wise. You know, everything worked out the way it was supposed to have worked out. But you never I cheated am, on your wife or anything, right? No, I didn't. I mean, you were really into your wife. Absolutely. Jesus, this is a great story. I got oh, an option this. It is. You see, but that's what I'm saying. I'm putting it in my will. No one's making this television oh, movie, I'm making mainly it. because the casting would be terrible. So wait a second. Would you play me? Yeah, of course. You, you know, I look like you. You're the only like one with the hair. <laughs> that's and right. And then it that's right. I have the hair for it. What? But then it would be believable that your wife would be for Oh. Did you ever think that? That's why you keep her in the booth. Yeah. Did you ever think that your long hair sent her down that path? Like maybe it looked very feminine with the long hair. From the back. Yeah, from the back. And like maybe she's I, it was like a share thing. How did she meet Melissa Etheridge? She was uh, an assistant director at the time, and she did a music video with her. Oh. oh and Melissa Etheridge came on to her, huh? I have no idea. You I never asked? There. Did, you, did, you, did you get, like, wild when she told you? Did you, like, smack her around and stuff? No. No, was you're a gentle guy. Was there a period guy. of time where she was with both of you? No. Oh. oh, too bad. Imagine you get them both in the sack. <laughs> that might have been interesting. Now, you see, I, I, this is the one thing that I knew he was going to ask me if I had, you know... Yeah. Oh, no. oh no. man. Did, well, you wouldn't like that just to watch? Absolutely Did you not. say to her, no, hey, no, listen, I don't mind if you're Melissa Etheridge. No, just let please. me watch. No, not at all. You never said not that. Not at all. I'll just pull my pants no, down in the corner. And, really? <laughs> it's totally a male fantasy. Yeah, I dig that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, there's a lot of guys who do. Oh, which is man. Like perfectly you really have fine, to but it has very little to do with and, lesbianism. And were you so angry that you ran out of the house and started kissing guys? Like, like, just to teach her a lesson? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll get back in <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to go kiss a guy. Come here. That's I'm what you should have done. Part of town. You know, that didn't occur to me. <laughs> if, Is this a been cool even story? More interesting. Is this In great? Rewrite. When but you really, write the television I mean, movie, that could happen. I'm in San Francisco. You should date her brother. Yeah. Does she have a brother? No, she doesn't. Oh, too bad. I yeah, want to know really what he did at that moment. I mean, how do you react when your wife yeah. says that? To I, you? Do you go, wow, great, now I can date? No. Or do you go, <laughs> <laughs> ooh, the world's open to me now? Yeah, that's neat. Do you... I know, I had to go to work. I had to go to work. I, uh, I had to go to work in like 15 minutes. So What so movie did you do? I was uh, doing Renegades at the time. Renegades? Yeah. Did it affect <laughs> your performance? Beating a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's always good to be doing that. It's, it's very so you weren't that mad because you, were, you knew you could get a woman in two seconds or you were really pissed? I was stunned, actually. Stunned. Really? So I who'd mean, you I, go and tell? Your parents or somebody? No, I didn't tell anyone. Really? I didn't tell anyone for oh, you should have called us. Time. You should have called us. I probably should have. Yeah. Got it right out there, worked it out, dealt with that, you know, that, that emotion right off the bat. So how long did you take before you started hopping in the sack with some girls? Oh, it was a long time. You waited like six months? It was a long time. Really? Yeah. Now, you were that was devastated? That? 
Why is that? Because I was trying to work it out. I would have been out that night on a date. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. I would have worked it. You, oh, you want to work it out with your wife? Yeah. Oh, forget that. Once they go lesbo. Once they go lesbo. They never go back. Yeah, right. <laughs> So would you say, hey, honey, why don't we just why don't we just have some dinner or something and mellow out here? Maybe you're confused. <laughs> she was at first. Yeah. I mean, she was very confused. So what did she do? She started moving in with Melissa, or you uh, you just kept her at the house? Like, did you get her at the house? No, no. She I mean, moved out right away. No, 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 no. It was just that period where you know wow. we you know we went to therapy and we tried to work it out. Really? Oh, really? Oh, cool. Sure, certainly. Wow, you're a pretty good guy. That's I would have been thrilled. I'm like, you know, sensitive man of the 90s. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you're too nice. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine sitting in a therapy office talking about that? Honey, I'm telling you, you don't love women. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was the therapist telling her that. So then did you guys try to get it on again after no. Uh, she took... No. No, no, really. Yeah, it never worked. I could have no. converted her. <sighs> oh. I'm sure you could have. Oh, you don't know, man. I, I've seen that ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did the therapist start giggling when you guys started telling the story? Oh. <laughs> hey, Lou. You know oh, <laughs> Does the therapist act like, aren't you afraid like the therapist is going to go tell everyone everything you're saying and stuff? What? She's writing a TV movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Is she recording everything you say? I can imagine, like, Lou Diamond Phillips walks into my office. I'm like, oh, wow, Lou Diamond Phillips and his wife having some problems. Cool. I'll be the therapist. And all of a sudden, the lottery, Lou goes, uh, oh, um. I think you have these fantasies of somebody like you know, the therapist getting drunk at a party going, less and less. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know they do. Hey, I just had little Diamond Phillips in here. Guess what? His wife's a lesbian. Get a load of this, oh, you get a load of this one. I hit the jackpot. And, and so would the therapist try to convert her back into liking guys? No, just trying to get her to understand what happened. That's all. Really? Yes. And then wow. she just moved out. Basically. Yeah. Right down the block. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, Melissa, hey. Melissa lives really? right down the block. Yeah. Lou had to put up with crap. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, now I understand. Look, you didn't go off like OJ. Oh. <laughs> now, there's a guy Still who you it. could understand, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was the therapist a female? Yeah. Uh-oh. She got put that was like in stereo too. with the uh-oh. Is there something that I'm missing? <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm know. feeling like I'm back six years ago, and, I'm, and I still don't know what's going on. His new wife, Lou's new wife. Well, Lou she's gets lots of beautiful oh, women. Oh, man. No, he she's was, gorgeous. Did you get a lot of starlets and stuff before no. you married this one? He no. was once engaged. No. Come on. To who? Jennifer. That's to one. Jennifer Tilly. That's not a lot. Oh, Jennifer Tilly's got some rack. <laughs> oh, man. You got her? <laughs> we, were, we were seeing each other for a while. What oh, yeah, happened to that? When she was here, she was telling us how much she was in love with Lou, and the next thing I know, he's with somebody else. Did she go she lesbo was, on you? I told you, that, that does not happen twice. I know, it, I know. It only know. happens once. It is. It's what like getting a hole you in got, one in golf or something. You got Jennifer Tilly? Yeah, well, yeah Jennifer How's and I were that? seeing each other for a while. How is that? She's kind of crazy, right? No, she's a lovely girl. But she's kind of wild. I mean, she well, must get into some wild she's stuff. She's a little quirky. That, that's it. Oh, you know, yeah. she's nothing crazy. Quirky. Yeah. <laughs> you and I have when to go out. When you say out. quirky, it, it takes a whole different <laughs> spin, Howard. Because she's wacky. She is. She's a little, uh... Which one is Jennifer? Which one's Meg? She's, Meg is the one with the dark hair. That's the less famous one. They both one. have dark hair. Are you kidding me? They, they, they do? Then yeah. I'm Who's confused. more famous, Meg or Jennifer? Meg is probably more famous. Jennifer is, uh... Jennifer. Meg was in the Big Chill. Jennifer's the one that walked off our show. <laughs> oh, did she? Yeah. She didn't walk off, did well, she? she sort of left. She left she a little bummed out. Oh, she was bummed out? No, she walked off. Yeah. Oh, she did? <laughs> we don't she even know about that. She walked off. Oh, I yeah. didn't know she walked off. Yeah. You see, I don't even know I when someone's mad. She did? Yeah. You cool. No, what did I do? we were talking about it for half an hour afterwards. Was I'm I? Serious. Yeah. You were going, did, did she you... just walk out? You weren't sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure. You kept saying, yeah. did she walk out? You kept asking her about her breasts. She was doing a show where she played a prostitute. She had really nice breasts. And yeah. You wanted to see them, and I don't know, would she take her top off? There was a lot of that going oh, on. Oh, yeah, I had to yell at her for not taking her top off. Oh. Yeah, you can have some more coffee. Yeah, yeah sure. Lou needs coffee. <laughs> <laughs> this conversation isn't keeping him away. No, this. it's far too early in the morning. Tell me about it. I hate it. Hey, let me show a picture of your wife before she walks in. Hey, Gary, bring in Lou's wife. And what is Lou's wife's name? Kelly. Kelly? Is Kelly she an Phillips. actress? No. Oh, she took the Phillips name? Hmm? Yes, yes, she did. When Excellent. Did you see that? Look at that. I don't think I've seen that picture. I've never seen that she picture. She is some what knockout. What is that picture? It's like a hee-haw picture. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell what she was up I've never seen that picture. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, she looks great. Where, where did you get this? Where did you find this? Uh, I don't know. Gary gave it to me. Where did Gary find this? Gary used the date. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Give me oxygen.